Good morning. Let's take a moment to warm each other's hearts by greeting each other with a smile, with a wave, with a hello. And as we do so, let us also acknowledge our loving God's presence and to Him we lift up each other's intentions and prayers. And as one community in worship, we pray for the peace and the end of violence that we long for, especially against humanity and the unborn. We remember to pray for the poor families that struggle and the victims of calamities. Today on Monday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time, our entrance song is The Lord is My Hope. The Lord is my hope and my glory. The Lord is the song that I sing. So tender and loving a shepherd. So rooted in justice a king. When shadow confuses my vision, when sorrow lays claim to my heart, God is my refuge, my rock and my shield. I will rely on the Lord near to death. I cry, save me, and you heard. You are God, and you lift up the poor. The Lord is my hope and my glory. The Lord is the song that I sing. So tender and loving a shepherd, so rooted in justice a king. When shadow confuses my vision, when sorrow lays claim to my heart, God is my refuge my rock and my shield, I will rely on the Lord. I will rely on the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we humbly call to mind our sins and place our trust in a compassionate and merciful Father. You raise us to new life. Kirihie Elehison. Kirihie Elehison. Forgive our sins. Christe Elehison. Christe us with your body and mm. your blood, Kirihie Elehison. Kirihie Elehison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. 
Jacob departed from Beersheba and proceeded toward Haran. When he came upon a certain shrine, as the sun had already set, he stopped there for the night. Taking one of the stones at the shrine, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep at that spot. Then he had a dream. A stairway rested on the ground with its top reaching to the heavens, and God's messengers were going up and down on it. And there was the Lord standing beside him, saying, I, the Lord, am the God of your forefather Abraham and the God of Isaac. The land in which you are lying, I will give to you and your descendants. These shall be as plentiful as the dust of the earth, and through them you shall spread out east, west, north, and south. In you and your descendants, all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. Know that I am with you. I will protect you wherever you go, bring you back to this land. I will never leave you until I have done what I'm promised of you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he exclaimed, Truly the Lord is in this spot, although I did not know it. In solemn wonder, he cried out, How awesome is this shrine! This is nothing else but an abode for God and that this is the gateway to heaven. Early the next morning, Jacob took the stone that he had put under his head, set it up as a memorial stone, and poured oil on top of it. He called the site Bethel, whereas the former name of the town had been Los. Jacob then made his vow. If God remains with me to protect me on this journey I'm making, and give me enough bread to eat, clothing to wear, I will come back safe to my father's house. The Lord shall be my God. This stone that I have set up as a memorial stone shall be God's abode. The word of the Lord. In you, my God, I place my trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. In you, for he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings he shall take refuge. In you, because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. In you. Alleluia. 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 Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hands on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel of his cloak. She said to herself, if only I can touch his cloak, 
I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter. Your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's home, he saw the flute players in the crowd who were making a commotion. He said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her hand, took her by the hand. And the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. The two people described in the gospel today, perhaps in their hearts, manifested what we, what our response in the in the responsorial psalm was: "In you, my God, I place my trust." It begins with this official, whose daughter has just died and still has not given up hope, and still believed against all odds. It's about that woman who has been experiencing sickness and illness for the longest time, who had also the faith not to draw attention to her, but simply to touch the tassel of his, of his cloak, which is at the a lower part, humbling herself, humbling herself and humbling the official, also humbling himself by coming to Jesus. And in the end, their faith was rewarded. Their faith was given a response by our Lord Jesus. There is a place in Jerusalem which is a, like a, a chapel dedicated to uh, this woman, uh, oh no, Mary of Magdala, in which there is a painting of this incident of the woman touching the cloak and tassel of our Lord. And she does not, not even show the woman, but it just shows feet and a woman, a hand touching the tassel or the cloak of our Lord and a light shining on that hand. Sometimes in our lives, this is all we need to simply say to the Lord. Because every day we not only touch, especially for those who come to the Eucharist, when we come to the Eucharist, we not only touch the tassel, of the cloak of our Lord, we touch our Lord himself. We receive Jesus himself. And like Jacob, in the, in the first reading, God, we will have our, those grace or God-filled moment, but the important thing is to remember them. The important thing is not only to remember them, but like Jacob did, he immortalized it with the shrine. The, sign, the shrine being a, a witness to what he has experienced. When we have this grace-filled and God-filled moments, the challenge is to be able to share it to others. The challenge is to be able to immortalize them or memorialize them by sharing it to someone else who, like it or not, or know it or not, may benefit from what are witnessing, from what we have shared. Or, we can choose to be like the people in the gospel today who ridiculed our Lord Jesus, who did not believe that he is able to do such thing. Unlike the faith of the woman suffering from hemorrhages and the, officials, uh, <clears throat> and the official whose daughter just died, to which they exclaimed our response in the psalm, In you, Lord, I place my trust. God never intended 
us to die. He created us for life, but we choose death. Christ, our Redeemer, restores us to life, and we come to our Father praying through him. Our response, Father of life, <clears throat> hear us. Father of life, hear us. That the church may be a symbol of Christ's healing work by its care for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of life, hear us. That doctors and nurses and all those who care for the sick may show compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of our sisters and brothers. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of life, hear us. That people suffering from poverty may be drawn to <clears throat> Jesus who became poor for our sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of life, hear us. That we may bind up hearts that are broken through our kind deeds and our consoling words. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of life, hear us. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of life, hear us. We lift up to the Lord in this, the intentions and petitions, in the silence of our hearts for our families and our loved ones. We pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is offered, for the eternal repose of Mill Tennant and Luningning Carlos. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Father, hear us. And for the intentions we have received, <clears throat> in thanksgiving for Maritza Sanchez and Susan Pagulayan C., we pray to the Lord. Father of life, hear us. For those in need of strength, healing, and comfort, for Tony Casar, Michael Ranahan, Barbara Yanchar, Lumi Palacio, Franz Imagawa, and Joanne Donahue, we pray to the Lord. Father of life, hear us. And for our dearly departed, Jennifer Mascola, Mary Murphy, Belente Año, Marvin Barrera, Asha Buxani, Cicerone and Nestor de la Cruz, Natividad Cuyugan, Angel Sarosa, Sing Kaung Wen, Chol Lin, we pray to the Lord. Father of life, hear us. God, our Father, keep healing us from all evil, and let your goodness shine on us by the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always 
and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. So it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabavot, Plenisum Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Osana in excelsis, Benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domini, O Sahana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Santiago de Compostela and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, come to me all who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. To our brothers and sisters who are unable to receive our Lord Jesus sacramentally, we join them in prayer, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and ever cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. We pray now to our loving Mother, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to St. Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary, place her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us to the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our sessional song is, I Am the Bread of Life. I am the bread of life. You who come to me shall not hunger, and who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons. And I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. And if you eat of this bread, you shall live forever. You shall live forever. And I will raise you up. And I will raise And I will raise you upon the last day. Have a blessed day, everyone.